What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I got the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic with me right here and I'm going to show you all of the things that you need to do first on your new watch. And there's a lot to cover so let's just jump right into things and the first thing we're going to do is replace our default assistant because by default if we long press this button what it's going to do is bring up the Bixby assistant and let's be honest nobody likes Bixby so what we're gonna do is replace it with the Google Assistant and to do that what we need to do is swipe up and then we're gonna go to the Google Play Store and then tap on the search icon and search for the Google Assistant then press the search button and you should see it come up right here so you can see mine is already installed but if you don't have yours installed go ahead and install it now once you do have it installed you still need to set it as the default assistant so to do that what we're gonna do is go back to our phone's apps then press on the settings icon right here and then scroll down to advanced features go into here and then scroll down until you see something called customize buttons tap into here and then go to press and hold you can see it's set to bixby now just set it to your google assistant and now you can see when we long press this button we now have the google assistant now while we're in here what we're going to do is go back to our customize button section right here and go to this double double press section and we're going to change it from to go to recent app so you can see if i double press this it's just going to go to our most recent app and if we double press it again it's going to go back to the previous most recent app so go ahead and change this from most recent apps to anything else you can see we have a whole lot of options in here like calculator contacts your gallery your maps messages and all of these other applications so whatever you use most often just set it to that so let's say maybe we want to use samsung health we'll just set this to samsung health and now when we double press this button it's going to take us to Samsung Health. All right, now there's one more thing in this customize button section. If we scroll down to the bottom, you can see there's a short press button. So what this is going to do is when we short press this button, it's just going to go to our previous screen. But this is redundant because to go back to the previous screen, all we need to do is just swipe like this. So this button is kind of useless. So what you want to do is just go into here and set it to show recent apps. It's the only other option, but it's better than just having that redundant function that you can do just by swiping with your finger. So go ahead and set the short press button to show your recent apps. And the quick tip, if you ever want to go back to your home screen, instead of just swiping a whole bunch of times until you go all the way back to your watch face, all you need to do is just quick tap this button right here and you can see it takes you all the way back to your watch face. All right, guys, now the next thing we're going to do is organize our app drawer. So you can see when you scroll here, you have all of your apps right here. Now, what you want to do is just go ahead and reorganize this to put all of your most used apps all the way up, to, up at the top. Now, you can do this directly on the watch by just tapping and holding and selecting an app and then dragging it around. Or to make it a little bit easier, what you can actually do is go to your Galaxy wearables application on your Samsung Galaxy phone. If you don't have this, you can just install it from the gallery, uh, from the Galaxy store rather. But when you have it, just open it up and then go to your apps screen button right here. And I'll just take whatever application you want and drag it all the way to the top. So let's say maybe we want our gallery all the way at the top, just so it's easy to access. We can bring it up here and then tap save. And you can see it gets reorganized on our watch. Go ahead and reorganize it just so it's a lot more convenient and you have all of your most popular apps that you use most often up at the top. All right, guys, now the next thing you need to do is set up your Find My Watch right here. So if you ever misplace your watch or you lose it somewhere, you'll be able to track it on a GPS and hopefully retrieve it. So just tap onto here and go through the short setup process. But once it's set up, you can see that we have our GPS right here. It says Alex's Watch 6 Classic with the address where it was last uh, located. And if you think somebody stole it and they're maybe moving around, you can always refresh this to get the latest location of your watch. You can also ring it. Maybe if you, you know, lost it in between your couch cushions or left it in the car or upstairs or something, it will uh, make a loud sound so you can find it. And another thing you should do is just tap on more right here. And then you'll see an option here that says um, notify when left behind. So if you enable this, what's going to happen is let's say you put your watch down on a table and then you picked your phone up and you walked away and it will just notify you that you left your watch behind. So this is just a really convenient way to help you from even losing your watch in the first place. If you ever walk away from it, you'll get a notification on your phone. All right, guys, this next feature is going to make it a lot easier to type on your Galaxy Watch. So, for example, let's say you're talking to somebody and you just want to say hi and then you want to put a period. Well, in order to do that, what you need to do is swipe up on your keyboard, go to the secondary keyboard right here, locate the key, uh, the, uh, the period right there, tap on it, then swipe up again and then go back to your main keyboard and then continue typing. Now, that's a lot of work to do something really simple. So here's what you can do. Swipe up on your keyboard again and then go to this little gear icon to go to your keyboard settings and then scroll down a little bit until you see something that says as double tap spacebar to add a period so go ahead and enable this and now as you can imagine what's going to happen is 
let's say you're writing somebody a message and now all you need to do to make a period is just tap the space bar twice and you can see it will automatically add a keyboard so that just makes it a little bit easier and quicker to write messages now another thing on the keyboard that you should enable is something called swipe gestures because the keyboard is really small and as you're typing it's easy to make a lot of mistakes fortunately samsung has really good predictive text with their um, swipe keyboard so if you enable it it's actually going to make it a lot easier to type so you see right now there's no swipe uh, typing allowed so what you want to do is is just swipe up again go to your phone settings right here and then scroll down until you see something called keyboard swipe controls so you see it says no swipe gestures so go to here and enable swipe to type and now you can see what's going to happen is if we go back to our keyboard i can now swipe to type so i'm going to go like this how are you and it makes typing so much quicker so definitely give this a try if you haven't now you also have something called quick responses so if you're ever texting somebody you can tap on the keyboard right here and you can see you can either write a message or you have all of these quick responses down here so instead of writing something out you can just make a quick response now if you want to add something else or remove anything that you don't use and maybe add another quick response in here you can easily do that from your samsung Gear, uh, wearables app so what we're going to do is just go back into this app right here and then we're going to go into the watch settings right there and then here just scroll down to the general settings uh, and then look for something called quick responses and now in here you can see all of your quick responses right here so if you don't want anything in here what you can do is just tap edit and then tap on whichever ones you don't want and then you can tap delete right here to remove them you can also reorganize them to bring the ones you want the ones you use most often all the way up to the top so let's say we want to bring no up here we can do that but then what you can do is also add different responses so if you scroll down to the bottom you can do add response and then maybe in here you can type something like I'll be there in five minutes and you can just tap save again we can go up here to edit and maybe we want to bring this all the way up to the top so there you go now if anybody ever texts you you have this quick response all the way up at the top and if you ever need to say that you'll be somewhere in five minutes you can just tap on that quick response and it will shoot the message off right away all right the next thing we're going to do is set up which notifications we actually want to receive on our galaxy watch so we're going to go to our watch settings tap notifications go to app notifications up here and then down here you'll see all of the applications that can send notifications to our galaxy watch so anything you don't care about just go ahead and disable it and you're not going to get those notifications bothering you on your galaxy watch so definitely go through your whole entire list and remove everything that you don't care about all right the next thing we're going to do is change the watch face on our galaxy uh, watch this is the one that came by default but if we go to watch faces right here you're going to see that we have a whole bunch of different options so you can kind of go through here there's analog ones there's classic ones simple basic you see there's all these different categories and then there's even more that you can download so just go through here and select whichever one you like the most uh, and then you can just tap on it like that and you can see that it's going to download it if it's not downloaded and then just apply it to your watch now the next thing we're going to do is set up some tiles and what tiles are is you can see when i rotate my bezel we have all of these different tiles so we have our fitness stuff right there we have our sleep tracker body composition the weather all of these are our tiles and if we go all the way to the end we can add more tiles so just tap plus and then you can see all of the tiles that are available so you can just go through this list and see what you want maybe you want to add your contact so you can send somebody a message or give somebody a call maybe you want to add your schedules or your calendar what you want to do is just tap on the tile and now I'll have my calendar accessible from my tiles so you can see over here if I scroll all the way to the end my calendar is right there and then if you want to reorganize any of your tiles so let's say I want my calendar maybe at the very front all I got to do is just tap and hold on it and then it'll bring up all my tiles you can see them right here and then tap and hold whichever tile you want and then you can just reorganize it by dragging it around like that so let's say we want to bring our calendar all the way up to the front there we go just drop it there and now you can see it's the first tile available all right, guys, now the last thing we're going to do is download our playlists onto our watch. So if you use YouTube Music or Spotify, instead of having to carry your phone around, let's say you want to go for a run and you want to listen to music, you don't need to take your phone and have it just bouncing around in your pocket. You can just listen to music from your watch, but you're going to have to download the playlist onto your watch first. Now, we have 16 gigabytes of storage on this watch, which is more than ever before, so we can have even more stuff on the watch. So to do that, what you got to do is just go to your um, apps down here. So first, make sure to actually install install the application onto your watch so you can see i have spotify right here i'm just going to tap on spotify we're going to scroll over we're going to go to our library go to playlists 
and then this is my playlist right here so we're gonna tap into here and you see there is this download button so just go ahead and tap on this you can see i have 440 tracks here 26 hours worth of music and it's going to download all of this directly to the watch so i no longer need to take my phone with me every time i want to listen to music i can just listen to it directly from the watch but there you go, guys. That's going to do it for everything that you need to do on your new Galaxy Samsung Watch Classic. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.